Ladies and gentlemen, I'm NoGod21. Welcome back to Let's Play Shin Megami Tensei 1. In the last episode, we did even more grinding here in Ginza. On the plus side, I was able to get everyone kicked out with a brand new set of full armor. And got Kazuya a new gun. Oh, heck. And today, we're gonna head back through our usual spiel of... What was I doing again? Oh yeah. I was going to head back to the police station, now that uh, we're all leveled up. Well, more prepared, I should say. Okay, so let's head back down the stairs. Oh, Kwanka. You wanna give me something? Nope, okay. Back in we go. B1. Okay, first order of business. Yuka. Wrong button. I want you to cast Mapper. I have a way of seeing where the fuck I'm going. Of course, we don't have a single target Zia, which would be actually very low cost, which I would actually like, but we'll just beat the shit out of it. Oh yeah, upgrading our armor was definitely worth it, we're taking less damage than before. Still gotta go through here, go around. Okay, we could destroy that machine in one hit. You, let's just zap you to make sure that you all die like worthless machines that you are. Not the really sure shock, so you can't do anything this turn. Oh yeah, that's gonna be a problem. It's like the Browning, high damage, low accuracy. Oh, maybe I should have uh, saved up for the uh, P50 instead. Oh, that's gonna be a problem. Here we go again. today, isn't it? Alright. We want to go... I don't think there's going to be anything in here, but yeah, I thought not. Okay, we're finally out of the darkness. That leads stair. That leads the stairs. What's through here? An elevator, you say? Okay, so I could choose one to five. Well, if I want to skip straight to the boss, sure. But I'm going to be missing out on uh, possible treasure. Or I could just look ahead to see which floor has the treasure. Yeah, it's like I have a guide with a, with a map and treasure layout of the place, so I might as well use it, right? Okay, uh, we're on the basement floor, so that doesn't matter. There's nothing there. First floor? No, but we do have holes that lead us down to previous floors, so that's fun. If you're an attrip adventure, take the stairs up, thanks. 
Let's see, we got third, second floor, we've got a whole stairs, elevator, a trap box. No thank you. Ooh, okay, so our treasure starts on the third floor. And apparently it's on the only treasure on this floor is through this door. Stamina incense! Excellent! Not equipped. Slowly but surely your stamina is going back up. You know, it's times like this that I think I, maybe I should just put all the points that I've gotten at the start all into stamina. And just max that shit to 20 straight away. Oh well. Dodge a spell, you asshole. Here we go again. Ooh, yeah, buffing magic works. Well, we don't really need to worry about uh, buffing ourselves for these little things. One bites the dust. Two bites the dust. Three bites the dust. And that's it. What about from the gun? One? Of course. You know, when it said, when the, uh, the g a weapon or spell is supposed to hit all the groups. You would think would hit all of them. Oh, great. Being shocked is fun. Why do we got to feel me running into Cthulhu was just a fucking rare monster attempt? Okay, well, there's nothing else on the third floor. Fourth floor has more incense for me. And I accidentally just spit on my phone, that's lovely. Let's see, in order to get the incense, I have to brave the dark hallways of the abyss. A stinger. Is that a use item? No. Is it an equip item? No. So therefore, it's a uh, attack item of some description. Okay, here are the stairs leading up. Of course they dodged. So long as I don't go all the way at the end of the hallway, I'm not gonna fall down to the next floor. Dragon ATM. More items to use in combat. Uh, let's use a 
Magic Stone on Wercat. I'm actually starting to run a little low on these. Who would have thought? And of course, as soon as I take one step. I think I may have over-prepared a little bit for this place. Then again, I haven't run into the fucking Cthulhu monsters. Another Fuma Ball. A hand grenade! Okay, the first incense is through this door. Speed incense! And it's guarded by a couple of machines. You know, I love it when my attacks miss. Why do you get so many attacks? It's bullshit. All right, let's use it. Let's use that speed incense. Last incense is down through the hallway. I had to reorientate myself because I got confused again on the map. Because I can't read straight. At least I'm getting a lot of attack items that I'm probably never going to use. I have a use for Sursky's healing spell. Okay, it's through. Now there's the stairs down. It's this door over here. machines. Is it constantly full moon in this place or what? Luck incense. Yoinkus. I'll be using this. Yay, more drops. And I don't know if we get we should we should have critical hits. It just never shows seems to pop up. Alright, next level will be our last point into luck, then a boost of intelligence. Then I guess we dump uh, points into other things at that point.
know what? I would appreciate it if we all attacked first. I would also appreciate it if our attacks didn't miss. Seriously, okay. <laughs> One enemy. Ugh. It's like I like the damage, but I don't like the other things that come with it. Ugh. Fire's remorse is coming in hard for this gun. Would you stop, please. Thank you. At the very least, we're getting closer to leveling up. And I'm probably going to get leveled up right now because four groups of enemies are going to show up and try to kill me. This is what I get for not exploring, isn't it? It's like, bitch, you thought you could get here without exploring the entire floor and get into 50 million encounters costing you two hours to explore a fucking dungeon? Hell no, bitch, we're going to throw everything at your face. Love the dungeon crawling experience. This shit is why I live for. The harsh strategy, the pounding survivalist mentality, and also the fact is I can't walk two feet without getting into another fight. It's the best feeling in the world. <sighs> and it's not like in other JRPGs where it's annoying to do so. There's mo most often or not, after a certain point, most fights in other JRPGs just become smash the auto button. Just do basic attacks and you win. Not here, though. I can't do that. I actually have to stay alert and focused, otherwise I die. If I wanted to play a game where I turn my brain off and not have to think, I'd play something like Skyrim. And not to worry about uh, the game's busted mechanics and broken writing and story that's not worth five cents. Actually, that, ex that encompasses the entire Elder Scrolls series in a nutshell, actually, now I think about it. Oh, whatever. You guys have a lot more health than I do. Okay, so the quad machines have a lot more HP. How much am, how much am I off? Okay, one more fight. I don't wonder, is experience split in this game? Because it seems like it is. Or does everyone receive the same? I want to say everyone receives the same, but it feels like I'm getting split experience. That or because it's taking so long to level up, my mind is going crazy. Oh yeah, I need to heal Sirski and Hobgoblin up. When two of your most important party members are below half HP, it's time to heal them. Now, ideally I should be saving this MP for a boss fight. But I don't know if I'm actually going to be needing Zanma anytime soon. Probably not. I mean, if anything, we'll probably have enough firepower to not have to worry about it. Now, do I take the stairs up or not? Let's see, last floor. Uh, let's see. If 
fifth floor, is there anything worthwhile? Uh, nope. And it's probably better if I take the elevator back up. That way I don't have to worry about uh, wandering uh, into the wrong spot. Okay, floor five. here yeah I think I accidentally triggered somehow maybe the demons that show up in Ike Bukuro to show up on other places hang on let me check let me actually go down and check uh, let me just do this real fast let me check the demon list for EK Bukuro I think by talking to Takeshi, I triggered... I triggered something that went wrong. Well, there's the were... there's werewolf. Hmm. I had to... I had to have triggered something. really fucking weird because the werewolf is in the area after Ginza but where the fuck did those motherfucking Cthulhu monsters come from because I didn't see them on the previous thing let me actually check ah there we are okay so yeah I think I just got uh, screwed over on a rare spawn. Because there's the water like women. I'm getting confused here. Anyway. Of course. Yeah, we're cats. Damage is starting to become very, very poor. Fortunately, though, at this pace, I shouldn't have to have her on my team anymore. Of course, the only reason I'm having her in my party right now is to do double physical buffs. Could we attack you first, please? For fuck's sake. Thank you, Yuka. You're supposed to kill the entire group, not the not just two. Thank you. Yay, we leveled. All right, let us heal up. down. It's just the only reason I have Klonka in my party right now is just in case the Watchers show up and I have to spam Hama spells before they turn me into stone and kill me. Again, needs to be higher. Okay, she's broken 200 HP. Excellent. Well, that was easy. Would you kind of like piss off? Oh. 
Zap. I found another stinger. And another dragon ATM. Great, let's go through the doors. ID card, ID card, ID card. The door is broken. Go inside. Okay, and through this door should be our boss. Hmm. Great, it's Einstein. Or Dr. Wiley. I'm not sure which because I can't see your mustache. Oh, that's why Yuji told us to come here. This guy wants to slaughter everyone, and God can't have that. Actually, yes, we are here to stop you, and we will. Oh, great, a group of uh, T9 SC P's. Well, guess what? Eat this. Great, here we go. That did not do as much as I thought it would on the first round. It's kind of hoping a lot of you with you are going to be shocked or dead by this point. Oh, I'm getting hit by bug bites here. Let's try that again. I guess three is better than none. That's better. I got 600 bucks. The control system is running. Will you destroy it? Yes or no? Yes. Emergency. Emergency. Systems online. Proceeding to extermination of invaders. Machine defense system. Command. Okay, apparently we're fighting the SCP. Not, not the SCP. The MCP. Master Control Program. Apparently we're fight doing this outside instead of in the, in the computer itself. Okay. Okay, so what can you do? Let's see, level 58, so we're gonna get a ton of experience from this. HP, uh, 1310. Okay. And his abilities are attack, that does around 90 physical, hits 3 to 6 characters. Oh, joy, joys. An electrical wave that. The, oh, jeez. Oh, great. He has an AoE electrical attack. Wonderful. Just on sword. Gun. This is only one guy, it's Yonga. Attack. Hobgoblin, you can buff magic for Yuka, so she, she can just blitz this fucker. Or Kaja. Attack. That didn't do as much damage as I th would thought it gets a fucking computer screen! How does an electric- How does a computer resist bullets and a lightning bolt? That's not how electronics work. Fine, we're just gonna smash it with a baseball bat. That's not how this is supposed to work. At least we're gonna be doing consistent damage. And basically shocking this guy until Yuka runs out of MP.
Oh! Ow! How do you dodge? You know what, here, have a fucking, have a hand grenade. We zap you. Forty-seven damage. Okay, let's see how much this stinger does. Fourteen damage, not really worth it. We start slowly whittling down away the slugfest. We have a dragon ATM. I should probably also be saving these for groups of enemies, just because I th just in case they're AOE attack items. At least we're doing decent damage. All we're doing is just making sure he doesn't get a turn and just fucking beating him to death with a bat. Oh, I can't wait until I get my new sword, which is in the next dungeon. He's dead. Excellent. <laughs> we got up to level 40. Oh, we're 100 points off from, an, from a level up. So one fight means I can just level off off the bang, get, get my werewolf. Excellent. You guys learned a new spell. Got some cash, some magnemite. Found a memory board within the rubble. Yeah, your beautiful robot army is now a pile of junk. How do you feel? Is he still in there? Nope, okay. He he pissed off. Alright. Okay, now we're gonna have to... Uh... Now we actually need to head to, uh, back down to, uh, Ginza. To do some actual exploration. Because we got a memory board, we can't do, but we can't do anything with it, though. My guess? We're gonna have to give it to Steven, but I don't think Steven's where he was before. Hello, you fucking assholes! I'm prepared this time, you cocksuckers! Plus, we got the drop on your asses. Eat this. Okay, so you are affected by Zeo. That's good. No. Wonka, the one fucking time I didn't want you to fail, you fail me! You shit lord! Next chance, come on. You can do it this time, they're shot. What is your evasion rate on this spell? Okay, we'll do this again then. Not defend. Damn it! Keep misclicking. 
Here we go again. Third time's the charm. Okay. Wonka, you have failed me for the last time. The minute I am able to fuse you away, you, sir, are being booted from the party. Unless you can prove me wrong this time. Final. You hit the one that was weak, who only had 3 HP remaining. You... suck! At this point, just fucking hit him with the baseball bats. Ah, some normal enemies for once. because I want the experience. Level 41 now. Okay, comp. Return. Wonka. Summon. Kusith. Ku, get us out of here. You're probably going to put us right outside of Shibuya. Yep. Damn. Damn. Okay, let's head to Cathedral Shadows. Hello. Goodbye, elves. I got a pearl for my troubles. Okay, let's get werewolf in our party. That way we have a hard hitter. Yeah, I lose my uh, double buffing, but uh, Hobgon will be with us for a bit. And essentially, now that I know where Rags is, who's in Ginza, I can just go to the various areas around the map, fight the specific demons to drop the uh, gemstones that I want, and basically improve my party as we go by upgrading them to the next forms. Welcome, werewolf! Who else can I fuse? For Soul Kunku, what are you fuse into? Unicorn, no thank you. I 
And I need to be what? Level 43 to get you? Yep. You will be an also a good addition to my team. So we're gonna have to hold on that for two more levels, which isn't gonna be that f hard to do. I mean, we're already 41. Okay. Comp. Summon minion. Werewolf. There we go. He's a tanky boy. And he also hits hard. We now have another beat stick to the team. Excellent. And why am I going to the healing shrine? I don't technically need to go to the healing shrine. Uh, but I might as well, just in case. Alright, let's heal everyone back up to full. Uh, purchase items. Sort my items. Buy items, please. Thank you. Goodbye. I just want to see how much my gun will sell for. Yeah, 10,000. Great. So essentially, I just need around another... $10,000. What's another 10,000 to grind, right? Ugh. Okay, let's transmit back to Ginza. Now we can actually explore Ginza proper. Okay, now we can actually just go around getting things and... Let's see. I got the Vitality Incense, so that means I need to get another item floor before I start going down down the stairs. Because this place has a lot of things to look for. Oh great, black ooze. Are you immune to my bullets? No you're not. You just take reduced physical damage. Where we just took a chunk out of your hide with 50 points of damage. Ooh, that feels good. What about... Okay. Sword. Sword. Oh, fuck. Fuck it. It's a ooze. The worst it's gonna do is poison me. So just auto attack. Well, Q is dead. That's great. Well, I'm not actually... I'm fine with that. I'm not going to need him for a while. And I went in the completely wrong direction. Now that I got room on my team, Yaxini, you want to join me? Here's some cash. I have orbs. Have some more money. All right, Yaxini. Question, what alignment are you? You're neutral. You have poison cure, sexy dance, and healing. You're level 30. Okay, so you're a replacement for Koo in the team. We now have a team full of, uh, 
Neutral demons. Perfect. Let's change up the formation, shall we? Nausea, Yuka, Werewolf, Sirski, Yakshini, and Hobgoblin will be last. Alright! Okay, if we're facing north, let me uh, look at my map, because I think I went down the wrong hallway. Uh, nope, I didn't go down the right hallway. I just need to turn around and go down this door. Down here. Okay, I need to go into that room over there. We found a core shield. I have no idea what this does. Is it a use item? Apparently it is. I'm probably not going to use it because I think it's... I think that might be the only one of its kind. What's down? From the door. Turn around. North. This way. Hey, Sirski. And I'm probably deliberately pronouncing his name wrong. Now I think about it. Wait, did I go from Persky to Sirski without even realizing it? I think I did. Then again, I have no idea how it's actually pronounced in Hindu, so what do I know? If I can't pronounce it correctly using the native language, fuck it, right? Who cares? I'm just an uncultured American who doesn't understand how things work. <sighs> Sadness. Don't turn. Thank you. Hello, Hobgoblin. Let's kick your ass. Goodbye, guaranteed fight. I got a magic stone for my troubles. Hey, at least I got some of the money back I used for negotiation purposes. How do you enthrall a skeleton? I would love to know, how the fuck do you enthrall a skeleton? I mean, I know it's reanimated by, by a magic, because that's the only way it can move around. But still... Some fantasy things make no sense. Ah, hey, Olamia. Now, I would try to talk to you, but I don't have the upgrade to my demon summoning program to have more demons, unfortunately. So sorry, milady, you have to die. All right. Let's see, is there anything in here? Nope. So that means it just needs to start going down the basement floors. Oh, sweet Jesus. Let's see, what's on basement two? Ooh, Steven's down here. Okay, I need to find a way to get down to the basement. Which is the closest door? I mean, I only have 10 minutes remaining, but that's never stopped me before. I think this might actually be the closest, uh, 
way forward. At this point, I'm not really so concerned about the HP as I am. Hang on a minute. Map. The mapper spell can only do so much, but I need to cross reference here. Ah, okay. I was a little bit confused by the uh, coding, the uh, legend used on the map for Ginza here. Okay, so that way is a door that leads up from the bottom floor. That door leads down. Okay. So I need to go through this door over here. Really? You? What do you plan to do? Die? Did you want to commit suicide? By a glorious combat? Okay, let's head downstairs. Do, 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 do. Okay, now that I'm on the basement floor. I need to make my way to where Steven is. And the best way to do that is to navigate this fucking maze. Of course, the mapper spell has expired. Great. The Tenshi Le Leonard. Hi, Leonard. Um. Uh. I can't help but feel like this is a mistranslation. Because the Tenshi is, uh. The fall, the fall, the original fallen angels that rebelled against God, Lucifer and his lot, Beelzebub, Azazel, Nebros, Belial, you know, that crew. I'm pretty sure none of them are called Leonard, though. Unless this guy has a name change that I'm not familiar with. Ah, that's probably something I need to look up. Actually, just for shits and giggles, I'm actually going to do that. Let's look up the wiki. Let's see what the wiki says. Fallen. Uh, probably if I just typed in Leonard, but let's see what pops up. Okay, that doesn't help me at all. How about I just type in his name? Oh, here we are. Okay, here we are, Leonard. Leonard is a demon or spirit in the Dictionnaire Infernal, Grandmaster of the Nocturnal Orgies of Demons. He is the Grandmaster of the Sabbaths, Chief of the Subaltern of the Subaltern Demons, and General Inspector of Sorcery, Black Magic, and Witchcraft. He's also called the Grand Negre. He's represented as a three-horned goat with a, 
with a black human face, and marks his initiative with his horns, a fertile flower, saved from the worship of Master Leonard. Emerged from metamorphosis into monstrous animals, or men to, f or men to flight as an incubus. During Sabbath, he has the f he has a face on his ass. Okay, so he's essentially a different version of Baphomet. Got it. That's why he doesn't his name isn't familiar to me. Because Baphomet is, or the Goat of Mendez, or the traditional view of Satan, which is completely fucking wrong. Baphomet is basically the one who's worshipped in the Black Bible. Otherwise known as the Holy Book of Satanism, which is not truly Satanism at all. Ugh. You know, it's funny, the funny thing is, a lot of misconceptions about demons and uh, the occult in general is propagated by misinformation via the Catholic Church. Go fucking figure. Or if you actually do your goddamn research, you know that Baphomet is a completely different individual than fucking Satan. And Lucifer is completely different from Satan. Ugh. Anyway, I'm sorry. Misinformation and being wrong are two of my pet peeves when it comes to occult knowledge. Educate yourself. Gain more knowledge, and you will learn the truth of the fucking universe. Or at the very least, you won't sound like a complete jackass talking to somebody. <laughs> Sorry about that, small rant. Let's see here. Leonard! Your table is completely fucked on this, uh, on the phone, on this website, which is unfortunate. Okay, so, since I'm here, let's see, he's thir level 39, Chaos Alignment, okay, how much HP do you have? Uh, 630, yeah, 600, yeah, 363, I was getting dyslexic, what the hell? He can drop beads, apparently, what do you do? Charm and Happy, other than physical, okay, what are you weak to? Oh great! Apparently, resistances in this game work on a on a scale of fractions of an eight of eight. So normal damage from sword, fire, and force, but he takes five eighths damage from guns, seven eighths from ice, six eighths from electricity. Okay. So what you're saying is beat the shit out of him. Got it. I can do that. Right, let's see if we can affect him with Happy Dance. Oh, we just took off a big third of his health in one attack. Yeah, Werewolf. Very useful. Okay, sword, sword. Ah, fuck, I just auto attack. Goodbye, Leonard. Hello, Hobgoblin. See, in this place I need to go through... Not that way. The door on the left. Kiss her through this door. Oh, great! Yakshini is happy. And it didn't work on us! Sucks to be you! Okay, happy's not the worst status effect in the world. As long as it doesn't mean charm, I'm fine. If it just means that she's not gonna do anything for a turn, that's fine. That's annoying. Charm, however, is a pain in the dick. 
at least I can choose his actions in this game rather than the old. In later titles, where you get charms, you don't have control of them at all. Sherlock. Sure, sure, yeah, Sherlock. Sure Where's your torso? Why is your head your torso? Your existence must be pain, sir. Allow me to put you out of your misery. Oops, I did not mean to click return, which means I need to redo this whole entire setup again. Great. Magic. Buff. Oh, shit, bitch. We are 50% immune to phys- to not physical, to darkness and Hama spells. The benefits of being human in this series. We have an innate resistance to being instantly killed. Even though we can be killed rather easily via other means. Which is hilarious. So like the strength of humans is vast and practically infinite in SMT. But it's real easy to kill <laughs> humanity. Go figure, right? Wait, why am I using physical attacks when I could just use my gun? Oh, Sersky didn't is it not affected by it either. Of course, just because it says it doesn't work, doesn't mean that uh, it can't work later. Yes, burn yourself alive with magic. Not me, you cocksuckers. All I want to do is get to Steven. We can do auto battles. Well, at the very least, I'm gonna be able to get my new gun and then replace my gun as soon as I'm done with this place. Okay, we go from here. Now we head north. Assuming we don't fight everything and its mother on the way. You know, you are weaker than you should be for this area. Well, that's, that's all you're slinging in terms of firepower. Literally. Sorry, Leonard, you're not very scary. Okay, then we go through this door. Okay, then we need to go... to the door... At north right. Northwest, sorry. Thank you, Leonard. Ah, Taraka. You know, it's always fun to look at the uh, early SMT games and you realize how many demons are just palette swaps. I find it hilarious. Oh, great! You're one of these assholes. That's fine. I don't mind that shit at all. Can we go first this time? Thank you. Yeah, 
goddamn notifications. Oh, that didn't work. What the hell does that do? Whatever it did, I'm glad we dodged it. You have a lot of HP, you know that? Hey, Obgoblin, guess what? Fuck off. Okay, magic. Yuka, you are low on HP, so we'll do this. Wait a minute, did I just see Terrest? No, Toraport. What the fuck does that do? Oh! Torport takes us directly to the terminal. Okay. I'm okay with this. Because that means I could just talk to Steven, get my upgrade, and get the fuck out. Okay, through here, we go through this door up here. Yeah, then we follow the hall. We just follow the hallway. Turn. There's Steven. Ibaraki Doji. Not gonna lie, I prefer you as a banana oni. And if you get the reference, congratulations. If you don't, um, just look up Ibaraki Doji on the Type Moon Wiki. Then you'll know what I mean. Uh, you know what? Just in case I get screwed over, I might as well just look to see if you show up. Actually, what am I talking about? You will show up. Ibaraki. Let's see, Brute Chaos Roll 38, uh, 377 HP. Oh, great, you're one of these assholes. You resist all attacks, but you know Hama. Great. And you can ca and you can reduce our defense, heal our magic, and put us to sleep. Great! So what you're telling me is beat the shit out of you. Got it. Well if you're gonna resist. I might as well make it so you have a terrible, terrible time. I mean, even if you do resist everything, you're still going to be taking a lot of damage. Okay, I overestimated your abilities, Ibaraki. I apologize. Leonard, though, he's going to die real fast. Steven, I'm on my way. Slowly but surely. And of course, you guys get to go first. Lovely. And Werewolf is dead. That's This is what I get for auto-attacking guys who can instantly kill me. Wearing me down with bug bites here and I don't like it.
Okay, that was dumb. It's a good thing I have a lot of money now. Because I'm going to be spending all sh practically all of it to revive everybody because of my own stupidity. Holy Jesus. Hopefully that'll be enough. Because I hope that is what I think it is. Steven! Thank God! Hey, Steven. <laughs> we haven't been possessed yet! Thanks! Have you ever wish you could stock more demons? Stall memory bore into your handout computer, you decrease the number of demons in your stock. I think we could do this two to three times. Yeah, we have eight max now. We can get that to ten. Yeah, we just need to find another memory board. We can have twelve demons max. Here you go, Steven. Goodbye, you teleporting man of uh, pure badassery. Yuka. Take us out of here, please. He pushed regularly in front of Ginza's terminal. Thanks, my dear. Ugh. Question. How far am I away from mumbling, anyway? Yeah, whatever. Okay. I think we're good for today. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oof. Well, then. That was fun. Oh, god damn it. Okay. Well, that was fun. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been NoGod21. This is my list by Shibigami Tensei 1. In the next episode, we're going to continue our exploration of Ginza because there's still more items for us to collect. Because there's a uh, speed and intelligence incense down in basement 2. So we're going to have to go down there. We're also going to have to explore fight someone down there as well in order to get out of Ginza, which is I think the way I'm supposed to go? Ah, oh, whatever. Point is, until then, thanks for watching, have a wonderful evening, and I'll see you all next time!